Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another series for Super Nintendo Sundays. This is Bubsy in Claws Encounters the Third Kind. Chapter 1 Cheese Bills of Doom. I played this game a little bit during the randomizer shuffler thing that I did. And this was actually going to be one of the original games that I played for this series a long heckin' time ago. And for whatever reason, I never committed to it. I don't know why. Um, put it in the randomizer, of course, because it's incredible and it's a lot of fun. This is probably one of the silliest and most nonsensical platformers on the Super Nintendo. I would kind of put it in the same vein in terms of like style and kookiness, quirky, whatever you want to call it, as like Cuphead almost. Uh, obviously not as tough as Cuphead, and it doesn't really have the same vibe as that type of a game. It's not a shoot 'em up or anything like that. Just a pure platformer where you are Bubsy, this wildcat, who is being accosted by these weird uh, government drones. And your goal is to get all your fur balls back that they have stolen from you in an attempt to turn the world into a worse place. So here we are. We are Bubsy. This is very much just a jump around and find what you can thing. Collect as many balls as you can. I'm going to be saying that a lot. And make the most of it. It's not really a tough game. It is timed, of course, as you can see. But in general, it's just very silly, fun for the whole family. You know, it's it's a really good one. And I played this game a ton with my sister. I don't ever remember us, you know, putting this game down when we would play it. It would definitely be a situation where the two of us would take turns and just die a ton because they give you a ton of lives for a reason. The game is very generous in the ways that it can kill you and anything and everything will be able to do so especially these birds early so we're going to take our time we're going to mind our p's and q's cross our t's dot our i's try to keep bubsy out of harm's way and do our best to show off everything that i possibly can don't forget one of the things that bubsy can do aside from running and jumping which is his wheelhouse is that Bubsy can also glide temporarily. So, take advantage of that. Also, there's all these uh, kind of little bonus areas that you can kind of fl float around. Oops, I didn't do very good on that one. But, in general, lots of little kind of nooks and crannies. I don't know if this will let you do it again. If this is, yeah, this is just a teleporter. Um, that's kind of what the game does, is it just kind of warps you all over the place. But yeah, you can glide temporarily. Take advantage of that. Make sure that you're not causing irreparable harm to Bubsy. It's astounding to me that it took me this long to actually commit to playing this game because it was absolutely one of my childhood favorites. It's very silly and um, I just appreciate games that don't take themselves too seriously. Now, not to say that the Super Nintendo did that because it absolutely was pretty much a, uh, a very goofy time in, in life and the games that were put together back then didn't really necessarily need to be, you know, we're not talking AAA titles here, but uh, I think Bubsy's a AAA title. But look at how many balls we have. So many balls to share with all of you. I don't know exactly how I'm going to cut up these episodes because I've only kind of gotten like halfway through this game, I think. So I guess I'm just going to like... Maybe you just play for a little amount of time and then stop. I mean, the whole point of Super Nintendo Sundays is just supposed to be this little brunch, a little snack of uh, content for you on your on your Sunday before you get the Sunday scaries, just to relax and enjoy. Oops, I didn't know that was a thing. To relax and enjoy yourselves for a few minutes. That's kind of the goal. Oops, the goal here. When I sort of just made up this series eons ago with. Uh, Thanks, of course, once again to Odin Spack, who helped me do this. Um, but yeah, in general, this is a fun, silly game. And I think all of you should play it if you get a chance to. There's no reason not to. As you know, on this channel especially, I love platformers. It's something that I grew up with. Um, you know, one of my first ever games that I played. I'm being very cautious here. Um, oh, wants me to do that. One of my first ever games that I played on the Super Nintendo... My first console was um, Mario 3 on All-Stars. Now, 
in fairness, that's not a Super Nintendo game, but the remake could sort of be considered one. And in okay, well there you go. That's how you die. Um, I mentioned I don't like heights. I don't think I got any sort of a, are the are the exclamation points the okay. So those are your those are your checkpoints. Gotcha. Anything and everything will kill you. Um, but yeah, back to what I was saying. Um, actually, I don't remember what I was saying. Oh boy, temporary amnesia. It's fine. Oops, died again. Yeah, this is why I would recommend when you play this game to uh, get a lot of lives really early. This game is not messing around. It's not hard to get lives early, but it will be eventually. Um, it does become a bit cumbersome, so just consider that. Now, yeah, I, I was referring to Mario 3, that being like one of my first games that I played. And so I think platformers are just kind of in my blood a little bit. Oh, here we go, music change. This is so funky. This is one of the things about these games too, is they weren't complicated. These games were relatively simple. Um, ooh, now we, can, now we can become dark bubs. You check this out. Ooh yeah, look at that. Shadow boy. I'm a star boy. Oops, you can definitely die doing that too. You can fall into the giant yeah, vat of water. Like As most of you who own cats or have interacted with such creatures know, they do not like Agua very much. Ooh, did I just kill myself? No, that's a great animation though. Yeah, they thought of everything. All right, Bubsy, that's enough. Um, yeah, Bubsy being a wildcat, he does not appreciate water. H2O is not a friend of his, so you won't find him consuming it. But if you fall into it, you will die. So just another thing to be mindful of. Ooh, I'm always just so nervous. The game just wants you to take off and run like a Sonic clone, but I can't do that. Ooh. All right, and I gotta get out of here somehow. Ooh. Oh, there's a life next to some pins. I don't like heights. All right, I'm not gonna... <laughs> Let's skip that. I've already done it three times now, and I didn't really... Oop! Look at them keys! Yeah, th this game is just... It's so goofy. Like, how could you not love this? Just because of how absurd it is. And once again, not the hardest game. It's not meant to be. Um, you can find yourself in situations where you'll get stuck and you'll wind up making a lot of the same same deaths over and over but over the course of this game you know it's not really that bad and you'll get used to it I don't know kind of what the continue system is like or what the live system is like or if I can abuse that because I probably will be dying quite a bit in this game Ooh. okay well that's it oh here we go bonus balls yeah I think I'm gonna do I mean, this is only like eight and a half minutes in however long this gets to be once I edit it and uh, that's two levels down so and this game is not long um, this might only be a handful of episodes if I'm being honest as if I would lie to you viewers I wouldn't um, yeah this game is short it's a little jaunt this might actually wind up being potentially one of the shortest games on this channel just based on my knowledge of how this game works oop there's a life up there I want that we're going back for it we're doing it the checkpoint too just in case I goof it I say just in case I should say when I goof it exactly the Bubsy death animations are one of the best things also his little one-liners that he says I'm going to hop over this one. Ooh, there we go. So I don't think that was the one I hopped over. Bubsy is also a little slippery. So you got to watch that. Whoop. There we go. Okay. I'm going a little bit in reverse, though. Let's use the glide to save it. Okay. That was a trap. More like a bridge too short. I am hemorrhaging lives right now. That's okay. We have another drawbridge here. It's not only a drawbridge, it's a, some sort of a bridge. We have created it. Hello? Ooh, gotcha. But yeah, um, let's 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 get nostalgic for a second. Um, yeah, this was definitely a game that I don't remember. You know, I didn't buy this. Obviously, I was but a wee lad around the time that a game like this would come out. Um, but I do remember playing it a lot with my, my my youngest sister. She and I were kind of the ones that inherited 
the uh, Super Nintendo that part of our lives. And so, being the younger two, we would alternate. Ooh, I should have gotten that life. Um, I've goofed viewers. We would take turns playing the old Bubsies. In this game, you know, it's not, it, it didn't win any awards that I know of along the way back. Woo! I think I just probably clipped my audio. Oh, there's, there's a, a got the boot. Um, but yeah, we play this one a lot. And it's nostalgic for me in many ways. Whoa! Was not expecting that to happen. I don't know the secrets. I don't know the hidden passages. I'm not going to 100% it. Like, I don't do anything really. Can this kick me back to before that life? Ooh. Okay. Ooh, there's little bonuses down here. What does this do? I got nothing. Um, I only really remember, like, the first three worlds of this, I think. Alright, let's try to glide. Safety. But this theme song is iconic. Um, I love it with all my heart. This is a game that I remember I would come home from school as a child, and we would fight. You know, just silly fighting, not an actual fight. No domestic violence in the Demi Castle. Um, we would just, you know, fight over who got to play more often. But this was a game that we both enjoyed. Um, we didn't really have a ton of games that we played together as much. Oh, here we go. Here's a boss. They're dragging their balls around. Um, you got to hit them on right on their balls when they show their faces. The bird brains. Not really a tough boss. They only have a... Two hits a piece. Really tricky. Yeah, this is an easy game. This is a game. This is a game that's kind of perfect for Super Nintendo Sunday, just because of how short it is. And you get a passcode. So I'm assuming that's probably the end of World One. So that means that I will catch you next time on Super Nintendo Sundays for more Bubsy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.